Thank you very much. You're the best. Bye bye. Nice to see you again. Bye, Teresa. We'll see you again. Love you. Thank you, Teresa. You're a wonderful woman. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye now. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you. 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 Let me know if you guys have been here in the comments below. I'd also like to know what your favorite restaurants are. Restaurants that if you come to Wildwood, places that you have to go. This is one of the places that I have to go every time I'm down here. Or at least I try to. Sometimes we end up getting a little rushed around. We don't end up going the places we want to. But uh, yeah, today we're going to go to the Ravioli House. Okay, so here we are at the Ravioli House. Italian restaurant, bar, and pastries serving Wildwood since 1970. I have not been coming here that long, I promise you. All right, so apparently they have a whole other seating area. I've never been in this area before. And we're going upstairs? I didn't even know there was an upstairs. There's like a greenhouse too, look at this. I've never been on this side before. This looks kind of cool. Here is the menu, guys. A lot of the Italian classics. You guys can peruse the menu. So maybe you can come here in the future. I think I was gonna I was thinking about going with two different things. It's Zuppa di Piss. I might be saying that wrong. I am Italian. I don't normally order something like that, but uh, that I do like. Or I'm feeling the craving for some veal. So I'm thinking about like a veal cutlet parmesan or veal marsala, or maybe even the veal cutlet. It comes with the, uh, most of them come with a side of spaghetti. All right, we're gonna see what we're gonna choose. A lot of good options here, but take a look at the menu, peruse it, peruse it, and uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys would get here. Definitely come here. The food is very good. Homemade sauce, homemade pasta. All right, we placed our orders. I got a veal parmesan. Hard to pick. There's a lot of good options, and I see the people next to us eating, and the food looks killer, man. I know they got killer sausage here, killer meatballs. Hard to make a decision. I really wanted uh, I could have gotten some stuff with some scallops. You can't get everything. <laughs> You could eat here every night and have something different. Um, my daughter got a angel hair with a pesto sauce, which I've never had that before, so that'd be interesting. Hopefully it comes with some bread so we can uh, dip our uh, bread in the sauce. I was hoping that you could pick different pasta sauces. Um, unfortunately, you can't. I wanted a bolognese. You can get like a, uh, it comes with a side spaghetti. You can get uh, the regular house sauce. Uh, there was Alfredo sauce, and then I think there was one other choice, but I just went with the house since you couldn't get the bolognese, but it'll be fine. I know the sauce here is delicious. Oh, just got a house meat salad. Didn't even realize it came with this house meat dressing, an Italian dressing. Looks a little light on the dressing. I'll probably need more, <laughs> but this will do. This will do. I'm a big dressing guy. I'm not a big salad eater. Dressing's good. Has a little spicy kick to it. Nice looking cherry tomato. Mm. Nice fresh shallot. It's good. And we also got bread. So my first bite of the uh, salad. It's actually very good. It took me a minute to get used to the flavor. I like the dressing. It just has a kick to it, man. And I had my first bite. And it got me a uh, cough and I had to go for a drink of water right away. I thought it was horseradish in there. I just talked to the waitress. It's actually not horseradish. It's garlic. A lot of garlic. It, it just threw me off. It was a little overwhelming at the beginning. But it, it's a, it is a good dressing. Just a little bit powerful at the first first bite. You don't want a big heaping scoop of it. That's why they put a little dressing there. You got to really spread it out. You don't need more dressing. All right, here we go. The veal parmesan. Look at that. That's what the bread's for. And there's the... Uh, Pesto pasta. Awesome. Got the bread for dipping and everything. Here comes the first bite of the veal parm. I have not had veal parm in the longest time. If it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. I'm not expecting anything better than delicious. That is exactly what that is. That is good. Got nice, nice size portion too. Knowing my appetite, I will not be able to eat the whole thing. So I'm gonna to try to eat half, save half the pasta, I'll have a whole other meal here. Been working on our 
the old parm there. Let's try the uh, pasta. You guys are one of those people that do this with a spoon. My daughter's doing it with a spoon. I've never been a spoon guy, so I don't know if this is gonna work or not with one hand. <laughs> We're gonna give it a try. Oh, this is gonna be messy. All the pasta is homemade. Pretty good. Very easy to make pasta as well. I've actually made my own spaghetti before. I do it occasionally, not often, but it's basically flour, water, egg, and salt, and that's it. So very simple to make if you ever want to make uh, pasta. Literally, I think it's like a cup of flour, one egg. It's two cups of flour, one egg, a little bit, of, is there water? I think there's a little bit of water, some, a pinch of salt, and that's it. And then you just gotta roll that dough over and over again. And then you really do need a, a, a pasta. You, I got a KitchenAid and basically you just put it through the uh, appliance there for pasta maker. And nothing better than fresh pasta. It doesn't taste like that packaged crap. This is, this is way better. You can tell when something's homemade over that uh, artificial stuff. But yeah, very good. It's hard to, hard to video record with one hand. Lady in the Tramp style. I took a little bit of the pasta sauce off my uh, pasta. Put it there because we gotta do the bread dipping. You gotta dip the bread. Look at that. Got it. This is the Italian way of doing it. See how the bread is. I wish I had a little bit more sauce. I could probably ask for some, but I'm not gonna bother. Mm. My favorite part. Try not to eat too much because I'm trying to save some food for tomorrow for another meal. This is how we did about halfway through the meal. Had a half a slice of bread there. Half the veal parm, a little bit of pasta. Got enough for tomorrow, so I know most people could probably finish this, but I'm satisfied. This leaves me enough room for tomorrow. I don't believe in filling yourself up, and uh, gives me a whole nother meal. So that's awesome, I love that. Received the check, here is the bill for the dinner. We did have water, my water with lemon guy at dinner. So the veal parmesan, $28. The uh, pesto pasta, $22. 50 bucks, $3 in tax. Tax is cheaper. And uh, $53.31 total. And that's it. Pretty good deal. Prices are not bad. I don't know why I didn't get raviolis. <laughs> I don't know why. That wasn't even a thought. Ravioli house. Why not get raviolis? If you guys want to come to the ravioli house, they are open until October 20th. The pastry shop until October 21st. And then they close for the season and reopen the first week of May. Address here is 102 East Bennett Avenue, Wildwood. But who needs that? Just go on your GPS on your phone or your car and put it in Ravioli House. It's right here in Wildwood. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking these aren't real doors. Overall, very good meal. Have a meal for tomorrow. That's awesome. That's the Ravioli House. Like I said, I don't know why I didn't get raviolis. I didn't even... It didn't even cross my mind. I wasn't thinking. What was I thinking? I wasn't thinking. Hope you guys all enjoyed this video of the Ravioli House. I'm telling you guys, come here. You won't regret it. But remember, they close October 20th. They have some pastries. We're going to go check that out, too. Um, this is That's open the, one more day. I don't know why. October 21st. And, uh, yeah, they'll reopen the first week of May. Hope you guys liked the video. Manja. They got this secret entrance. I'm saying I'm not getting anything, but <laughs> let's see how strong my willpower is. Oh, look at this. It's got like a power door with a nice looking Italian guy. Oh, look at all this in here. Oh, man. This is going to be tough to get out of here without getting anything. Oh, my God. I love carrot cake. So many good things in here. There's red velvet. Looks like with a cheesecake frosting. I don't know what that is. It looks good. And there's somebody with a beautiful Italian accent. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. Where's the cannolis? 
Oh, these are these are always my favorite. These right here, I love these cookies. I don't know if they're cold. Amazing. Ah, oh, they got the cannoli shells right there. Look at those. They fill them up here. All right, guys, this is crazy. This is the owner. I heard this beautiful Italian accent. And it is Teresa. Teresa, what is so special about the ravioli house? The ravioli. The ravioli. You know what I, I did? I ate dinner. I got the veal parmesan. It was very good. And then I got done with dinner, and I go, why didn't I get raviolis? With the veal parmesan, you put it inside the ravioli. Oh, I made a mistake. Yeah, but even the spaghetti. You don't make the spaghetti. Spaghetti is good. All the pasta is made here. It's made homemade. It's all homemade. homemade. And what about the pastry? Do you make all the pastries yourself? We make everything. You make everything. All that's you guys make. Hey, you're not do you still do, do you still cook yourself or no? I cook every day. Do you cook? Yeah. You want to see my kitchen? Okay. I would love to see your kitchen. Oh, let's go. Can we show, can we show you your kitchen? Thank you very much. Have, have a great one. See you next year. So yes. nice meeting you. Thank you. you. I love I love right. the accent. I love, I love her. See you next year, okay? Thank you. I love it her. was a pleasure. She's gonna show me the kitchen. She's gonna show us the kitchen. Let's come go on, back and check let's it out. Go in the kitchen. Wanna come and see yeah, we want to go see the kitchen. The kitchen where I work. Yeah. Because there is another kitchen. I want to see. I make all the food in this kitchen, and I give it to the guys in the real kitchen. Let's go check it out. Come on, let's kitchen. All right, we are following. Oh wow! <laughs> Everybody says that. Oh wow! All right, we're not allowed to say oh well. Thank We're going to follow Teresa into the kitchen. Let's see the kitchen. Wow, look. Oh, I said it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. <laughs> Hold on. I think it's something else. She said everybody says, oh, well. I shouldn't say, oh, well. I won't get you. Don't worry. I see you. You don't want to be in there. That's fine. Okay, come this way. Okay, let's go. You will make all the dessert. This is what you, what you do here? From over there, it's all dessert. All desserts. Okay, you got the big mixer here. We got five of them. Oh, really? Those are expensive machines. This is a big room. What do you? So what do you do back here? All the all the whole board. This is all the pasta. All these pasta machines. Oh, really? This uh, this silver one, the chrome one. So this is the ZD. Oh, this is awesome. This is cool. Now, Teresa, what is this machine? What's this one? That's the spaghetti machine. Yeah, my my spaghetti machines are a lot smaller than that one. I believe it. It was like this, and I used to. Yeah, you used to crank it all by hand. You started the business. How old were you when you started the business? 29 years ago. 29 years ago. Wow. 29 years old. Oh, 29 years old, because it was 1970. Yeah, because I am I was born in 80, so I, you guys were open 10 years before I was even alive. I'm a baby. This was a poor apartment, this one. Oh, was it? It was all apartments? The kitchen where they cook and the guys, two apartments. The first dining room, two apartments. The other side, there was one big house. The parking lot was five apartments. Wow. Yeah. Want to see more? I got more. Come on. Come on, I'll show you more. <laughs> Definitely one of a kind. This one, you have to mix it. Okay. This is the ravioli machine. Ravioli machine? Four hours, it could be a two thousand dozen Really? Really. Oh my gosh. Back then, it's a cavadelli machine. This one. Back then, it's 24 frying pan that makes the crepes. When I started making the crepes on the stove, yeah. my, my husband really designed that machine. A 24 frying pan that they go run around and flip them over. Every minute, 24 of them. Oh my gosh. Then we have the Tortellini machine, the gnocchi machine, we got them all. Back here, it's big. Yeah, what's back there? Now this is air foundation. You go in here and you see the thing. Can you see the difference? Thank you. Oh, this is all the storage for all the regular ingredients. Wow. Look at this. We're going to invite it in the freezer and everything.
Wow. That's big. That's a big, oh, it feels nice in there. <laughs> oh, that's all the ravioli go? And then they go in the freezer. They put all them in the freezer. They put them on the racks here and they put all the racks back in the freezer. They find it over here with the ricotta and the sauce. That's wrong. The ricotta get the flavor of the sauce. So we have a refrigerator for ricotta only. Oh, wow. wow. Ricotta and eggs. Wow, well, that's See, that was, I, I don't know that. I don't know what the state. I, the, the guy, the inspector. Because it picks up the flavor? Yeah. yeah. So you keep it See, separate. See, now you put the basil next to the ricotta. Did it go to taste like basil? Oh, wow. Get the taste of basil. Yeah. It absorbs the flavor. It's, uh, you learn, you learn, learn the more and more. The more I get old, I learn the more and more. That's yeah. Right. That's all, yeah, I think they all do. What part of Italy? They're Naples. Naples. They're Naples. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. My family came That's why I made it Sfogliadella. Sfogliadella, they're from Naples. Yeah. Sweet. You know what's a Sfogliadella? I know, I've never had it. If there's anything left, I'll let you taste it. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you eat it all. And the ricotta. <laughs> <laughs> I mix. I mix. Every, in one week, when I get 20 pounds of cheese, to make a cheese for cannoli. Mm. Wow. Sixth and sixth. And each of those sixth, it's got 24 pounds of sugar. Oh, oh my God. Wow. <laughs> you eat cannoli? What's your favorite piece for Forget that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where, where's cannoli fall in there? Like, where's the cannoli fall in there? You don't know the cannoli, what they look like? Yeah. You want to see what they look like? I know what they look like. Okay, I'll, we'll go check, though. If you don't know what's a cannoli, they're <laughs> No, I know what they are. I just, okay, uh, yeah. I said, where does it stand on your list of favorites? Oh, no, I taste the cheese. I don't eat the cannoli. They're too sweet. Yeah, too sweet for you. No, okay. I think uh, Teresa eats a lot of cannolis because she's no, so sweet. She doesn't eat the cannoli, but they're, they're sweet. <laughs> So you use this and you pre-cook all the ravioli here? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they pre-cook. This is huge for other for other restaurants because they they sell the uh, cannolis to other places or not the cannolis the raviolis. It's sauce. It's so it is sauce. You're from where in Italy? I'm in Naples. I've always called it yeah. sauce too. Yeah, because a lot of people in America say gravy. Gravy goes for roast beef, roast yes. pork, and mashed potatoes. I agree with you. Where this, but the where did it come from? Sauce. American people. Amer oh, I got some Italian relatives that call it gravy. They know when they came in this country, they learn, you know, the yeah. sauce. I always called it sauce also. In Italy, if you go in Italy and you say spaghetti, this is spaghetti. You don't say with the gravy, you say with sauce. So it's sauce. From an Italian lady, yeah. it is sauce. It's sauce. It's sauce. Okay. Don't call well, it gravy. I would love to taste the cannoli. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh. Is anybody with children? Oh, I don't know where they Look at this. She's going she's gonna to do it all right here. Look at this. She's going to stuff the cannoli right here in front of us. Oh, it's a chocolate chip ones too. It's a good one. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful oh, Beautiful. that's nice. Okay, now we're going to the mouth. Always ladies first. A true lady. There you go. Thank you. Beautiful. You've got the napkins over there. <laughs> nice. You are done at the Yeah, that, I get, it get last. <laughs> what a beautiful job. See, I would never be able to do that because I'd eat them all day. I'm going to get to try. Yeah, Come I'd on. love to try. All right, I don't know how we're gonna. You, you'll hold the shell for me, and I'll. All right, we're gonna try this. All right. What's the secret? Am I going too fast or too slow? Should I do that? Is that good? No, it's not good. It's effort. Is that enough? No. That's it good. No, no, Oh, you do it. No. Oh, you've been, I mean, come on, you've been doing this for 30, 40 years. I mean, 54. Sorry, oh my god, I'm gonna get it wrong. 54 years. You will touch that pot over there. It's still out. I need to get the sauce out. I like this. It's still out. That makes 60 pounds of sauce. 60 pounds of sauce. So good. This lady's awesome. Yeah. 
I love how she talks with her hands. This, the one that's covered, will give us the size of any board on the middle. Hold the same size. And make sure the big mix. You have to come every time. We do it in a machine, a big guy. The machine goes like this. Yeah. Touch inside there? Touch. Is it hot? Go ahead, go on the bar. Oh yeah, it's still warm. Okay, Why this still warm? one. The sauce never tasted like a burn at the stove. This is water. Oh, water's inside? The water cooks the sauce. That's oh. why the sauce is so dense. Interesting. And the mega good sauce, extra basil. The basil fix everything. Love basil. I love basil. <laughs> I got two trays of Oh, yeah, yeah, see the basil over there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you like it was dry. After two days, the basil. Yeah. I had some basil plants myself. You always make sure it's dry. And do you rip it? You have to rip it, tear it, or do you cut it? No, no, just in a blender. Yeah. I blend the onions, everything. My grandfather said you would never, he would never cut basil. He always broke it with his hands. Yeah. Break it with the hand, fingers. Because if you put it with the knife, it gets dark. It gets black. Okay. okay. Yep. Now I give you all my secrets. Uh oh. Like We're going to open up a restaurant right next door. <laughs> and when you want to make pasta, one pound of flour, one egg. Oh, I was just talking about that right before. And a little bit of salt. Salt? No. No salt. Salt that goes in the water when you cook. Okay. Hey, I can't stay. <laughs> I'm going to get my mother take or whatever. Okay. And my girlfriend's out there. We'll go with some for five minutes. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay. I'm going to get charged. Okay. Okay. I don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> you know everybody. Oh. It's 53 years ago. Yeah. You made a lot, a lot of people. What are we talking about? My grandson. My grandson came back and finished college. He came to me and said, no, no, what am I going to do now? Oh, I don't know. You went for business. What do you want to do? Well, I was thinking, you want to give me a job, I want to stay here. He made me so happy. Oh, I bet. He made me so happy when yeah. he said, I want to be in a business. That's awesome. He does everything. Carry it on. Everything. Oh, great. That's because when, I lost, when my husband was sick, I was ready to sell everything. I was all by myself. And you got to stay strong. I, I was strong for 24 years. He was a very sick man. And then my grandson, he grew up, that, uh, he's going to have the business. Good. And my daughter, the mother and the son. Yeah, I know, I see you. My daughter, daughter she's the blonde, and neither yeah. catch red. She does. I have to show you this. She comes in the morning. <laughs> she goes, Good morning, everybody. <laughs> There's all that basil, beautiful basil. She's so proud of her restaurant. I love it. Yeah, it's a uh, labor of love. I to say, I'm proud of my restaurant. Yeah, we can I tell, and you know, should be. It's I a wonderful it restaurant. For the, what I, what I have, yes. Especially when I got this side. That was my last grave. No more grave. No, the dining room was my best. Kiss, Teresa. Oh, sure. Thank you very much. You're the best. Bye bye. Nice to see you again. Bye, Teresa. We'll see you again. Thank you, Teresa. You're a wonderful woman. I love you. Thank you very much. Bye now. Bye. See you soon. Well, that went a total unexpected route. That was supposed to be a short video. That was amazing. Teresa is amazing. What an amazing woman. Hard worker. She's been through a lot. And uh, great lady. She was just a great, great woman. That was absolutely fantastic. What a what a nice tour. Clean kitchen. Terrific food. 50, I hope I don't get this wrong if Teresa sees this. Said that pretty sure it was 54 years. That's it here from the Ravioli House. Make sure you check this place out. It is really a special, special place. It's a diamond. Enjoy.